Hello everyone, I will be reviewing the Massive Biters Albertosaurus and the Massive Biters CX. Anyways, uh, let's get started because I don't want to make this intro long as it already is. Okay, now I have them out of the box and I'm gonna review the Eeny Meeny Miny Mo Catch a Tiger by His Toe. I'm gonna review the Yang Chuan. No. Fuck. <laughs> I meant the Albertosaurus. But anyways, let's get on to it. So, yeah, the articulation, I'll go over that in a bit, but check out this beautiful scale detail, the little ridges. Kind of reminds me of the Disney cartoons a bit, and these spikes. And on the tail, you can see more of it here, or there, and right here, you have that. Final in which the color coding between the feet and this leg, the green looks different. These toes are that average chocolate color. And then we have the orange. That orange line, I love that. And then we have this tan colored jaw. And these two little rich things on the top. So, oh my god. It's hard, hard to stand on a bed. But anyways, uh, let's get to measurements. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do it like this because, uh, I need to hold the tape measure, but... Okay, it's about... 14 inches long, and... At the head, it is about... Hold on, stay upright. Okay. 6 inches tall from the top of that crest, so... Yeah, and let's move on to articulation. Okay, so articulation on this figure is quite limited due to the fact that this is a massive biters and you would expect the legs can go back and forth, arms can move backwards and can swing out. And it's time for its action feature. Okay, the action feature is pretty um average, I guess you would say. All you do is just swing this tail and Use the massive butter's action feature, and by holding its legs, I can't because I'm holding the camera. You can swing around your human or other dinosaur to heck. Okay, now moving on to the Seat's Mikororum. We are gonna check it out right now. Gonna go on to detail. We have this weird looking face. For some reason, they added this little thing right there, where the where this tooth goes. And normally, teeth don't go that far back. Normally, we just stop right there where this big tooth is. But they left it right. They brought it all the way back here. But anyways, I love the blue on this and that green eye and these pre feathers make it look like an Indominus Rex. These long muscular arms. So, yeah, and we have. This, um, these osteoderms on the leg, and we have more osteoderms as we go down, and we have a little bit of white coating, which I like, and the orange, and again, these, um, the color coating on the feet always seem like they're different colors, and again, they made it the chocolate color, in which, um, mouth detail, you can see the tongue and the gums on the inside, so... Yeah, now let's get to measurements. Okay, this figure is about... 14 inches long, same as the Albertosaurus. And if we take a look at height... It's about 7 inches tall at the tip of the crest. So, yeah, now let's move on to its action feature. Slash articulation. Okay, so it's practically just the same blah blah. Blah, you can move the legs up and down. Those things can swivel. I forgot to do that on the Alberta. And the arms can swing out. And now let's move on to its action feature. Okay, so basically its action feature is the same as the Alberta Saurus. All you have to do is hold the feet down. Then swing your opponent like this. Okay, let's get on to comparisons with... The Alberta first. Here it is with its wave mate, the Tarbosaurus. Here it is with the Dino Tracker's Beast Hoverser. 
Here it is with the Dino Escape Carcharodontosaurus. And here it is with the Rortax Ceratosaurus. Now moving on comparisons with Seats. Here it is with the Roar Attack Baryonyx Limbo. And here is it with the Wild Roar Exonotosaurus. Then here it is with one of his relatives, the Ham Collection. Whoa. The Ham Collection Metria Ganthosaurus. So should you buy the Albertosaurus and see as massive biters? Absolutely. It's because these two are fantastic figures if you want them in your collection. And Mattel, keep going strong. You need to keep on making more figures like these because the fans love them. And, well, you know, they're awesome. So I would rate these two, the Albertosaurus, about an 8 out of 10. And then the Seats, a 9 out of 10. I know that's just a one vote difference, but these these figures have its flaws, but then again, these are still great figures. Anyways, uh, bye.